Greetings, students. I have a fun fact for you today, uh, something called Gauss's Constant. Now, if you don't already know, the German mathematician Carl Friedrich Gauss is actually my favorite, uh, personal favorite mathematician. And there's something quite interesting. That is Gauss's constant, defined to be the reciprocal, I'm going to write this down, reciprocal of the arithmetic geometric mean between 1 and the square root of 2. So if we unpack this, it actually gets very interesting. Um, the arithmetic geometric mean, or sometimes abbreviated AGM, uh, between two numbers is another very interesting concept that uh, people don't really often talk about. But uh, it, it really is truly interesting, in fact, the number of different kinds of ways of calculating an average that there actually are. There's, you know, there's an ordinary or what is what is seen as ordinary uh, arithmetic mean, which is just adding them and dividing by two. There's the geom geometric one, which is taking the square root of a times b, so the square root of a product of two numbers, and that's a geometric mean. And there are many others. That I, really, I think it's uh, well described in, in some books and some sources that that I can that I can describe later. But um. There's so many different ideas about how we can best take an average, and you know what is the best measurement, and you know, especially the historical development of that was very interesting. But in this case, what we do is so the process for for finding an arithmetic geometric mean is basically we take basically sequences and we say that a you know what, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to call this A0 and B0, because those are actually the, the starting values in sequences that we're creating. And so A starts out as A0, and B starts out as B0. And then what we do is we actually keep calculating new values of the sequences A and B. And so basically, to calculate the next step, A sub n plus 1 is equal to half the sum of a sub n and b sub n. And b sub n plus 1 is equal to the square root of a sub n, b sub n. Using these very simple rules, we can kind of combine the two different ideas of arithmetic mean and geometric mean into one new kind of uh, function. These two sequences actually must converge after you keep iterating this process, these sequences actually must converge to a single value. And that value is, of course, the AGM, the, the arithmetic geometric mean. I actually wrote a Java program that can calculate the AGM, the arithmetic geometric mean, for any two positive rational values. For instance, the AGM between 1 and 15 would be approximately 7.1499. And, as it turns out, and so you can see the Java program that I'm right here. And there are some examples that are shown. So the uh, AGM between 1 and 8 would be something like 5.6 something. And I tried to make this as precise as I, as I could. Uh, I think the Java program is precise to about 1 times 10 to the negative 10 is what I tried to make it, as you can see. And you can experiment with this. Usually what we're finding is that, especially for these basic examples, uh, the AGM value turns out to be slightly closer to the lower index, or the, the, the lower value. So it's, it's not perfectly in the center or the middle, but it's just a, a kind of new, interesting concept of taking a, a mean, or a, a, a new kind of mean, so to speak. So Gauss's constant, if you're curious, is, de is defined to be, of course, the reciprocal of the AGM of 1 and square root of 2. So I also incorporated this into my program. 
in calculating the AGM of 1 and the square root of 2, and that turned out to be approximately 1.198140. So that is that arithmetic geometric mean. Now, again, Square root of 2 is, is approximately 1.414, I'm fairly sure. And then I think it's a 3 and something else, I'm not quite sure. And so if we were to take, let's actually define this to be equal to, I don't know, let's call it, uh, what should we call it? It was G0 or something. If we take that, that number and take the reciprocal, what we end up with is 0.8346268418441, and it goes on. And this, this number is a very special number, and it is Gauss's constant. Now, as it turns out, Gauss's constant has some very interesting and surprising connections to other constants. And on May 30th, 1799, Gauss discovered that this constant was in fact equal to 2 over pi times the integral from 0 to 1 of 1 over the square root of 1 plus x to the fourth dx. So if you were to, if you were to estimate this, you'd get the same value, 0 0.834, 626, 841, etc. And as it turns out, we can consider it to be equal to pi over 2 times b of 1 fourth comma 1 half, where this b is actually representative of the beta function. Now the beta function is a very interesting special function, similar in fact to the gamma function, and it has many connections to the gamma function in fact, but more generally, what this beta function is, is basically this formula given right here. And it can be generalized, in fact, to the gamma of x times gamma y all over the gamma of x comma y. That doesn't make any sense.